their only chance of getting into the NCAA tournament other than winning the tournament, right. which would be a long shot. They must win this game, a quad one win. Johnson getting his first start, the freshman with the ball, and Malik Williams, who's playing very well lately. He gets the start as well. And it's the upperclassman, Dwayne Sutton, who knocks down the three. Here he's been yeah. by 20. His own really bothered. Shot 27%. Deep one for Ryan McMahon. And the Sarasota Florida who has a place. Defensively, he's improved in a lot of areas. And this is why wow. he's starting. He's got the green light from basically anywhere beyond the logo. It's paid early dividends. Well, last two games, 18% versus 40%. Hughes and he answers with a deep three of his own because somebody's in foul trouble or something's not going well You know Gorier is really important that then he comes off the bench and gets in that slasher McMahon again right There by McMahon defensively There he is right here. He's got to become though not one dimensional So now with Gerard on the bench Washington doing some of the ball handling He's a distributor. Washington will pass the ball. Behind, yes. Much-needed bucket for the Orange. The eight teams in the NBA. That is Buddy Beheim's 85th made three-pointer this year. He leads the ACC in that department. But Louisville's knocking him down. And Gary almost picked up foul number three. He's got to be careful. Sutton flying down the court. War of the pull-up at the elbow will go. That could get him going. Jordan Warren has to be Jordan Warren if they're going to do anything come on. Some kind of noisy here at the Yum Center. Garrier, at least for the moment, will quiet the crowd. <laughs> Doug, you tip set? You, you look familiar. Have we worked together before? <laughs> Great rebound by Garrier, and he muscles it up and in. You know, I haven't seen this the first time I've seen Syracuse in person. I'm caught by this kid. He plays hard. I love guys that are attackers. Wara trying to back down Dolajai, and he does. He's trying to feel it. I think he's just got to get a little rhythm mentally. Right now, Joe Lenardi has Baylor and Kansas both securely on the one line. What a block from behind there by Elijah Hughes. Fortunately, it looks like a minor injury. He makes one of two. Well, you can play the four and a five for them. Over the top, Enoch. Up and in with the left hand. That size, Enoch transfer came over from Connecticut. He was playing the better ball of the two right now. Hughes with a drive. Left hand. And he gets it to go. He can score in so many different ways. It was the first round there. Up to two weeks ago, he dropped down to 32 in one of the pools I saw. Joe Girard will bank one home. Little run here for Syracuse. And Williamson down with the rebound. One of the keys in Chris Mack's mind tonight is they have to dominate the glass against Syracuse. The grad transfer, Fresh Kimball. He played three heavyweights yeah. one time. So they don't get that opportunity to really impress their resume. Too easy. Those are my five guys I put for player of the year. Can I throw one in there to join the group? Up, yeah. uh, Peyton Pritchard, Oregon. Having yeah, a very good player. As well. I saw him early in the shoot of Bahamas. Boy, Gerard. I mean, we've Gerard. talked about it. Going to put out some big numbers during his career because the yeah. one thing he's not one and done guy. He's going to be there for four years in Syracuse. As it's a magical so, numbers. Two easy shots. Again, too easy. Exciting as ever about the year, about the future. McMahon. Great rebound by Sutton. Great pass by Johnson. Warren for three. Tell you, Warren's going to have a good game here tonight. These four minutes are big to Syracuse. They've got to be able to cut this lead down. Gerard step back three. They needed that desperately. Squared his body really well. Got right in the gap. And see. Sadibe down with a two handed rebound, and the Orange looking to run. Sadibe did a great job with that rebound. That's yeah. big. Buddy Beheim with a three. Or it's got to be a star, right? Like he's Absolutely. Oh, yeah. He can't be average. Great move by Garrier. And Syracuse has it down to six. Up in that zone. Huge scoring numbers in high school. Sutton lost his balance. Wara's got it. Kimball with a turnaround. Foul line in the area. That's really been a plus for them. Nearly a turnover. Dolajai has it. Still got some time. Nice fake. Beheim buries it. Not just a catch and shoot guy. He's no. really w worked on. He's a guy that can put the ball on the deck and free. <clears throat> I'm going to tell you, he's got a good future. Man. Ryan and McMahon with his third three of the game. I can see a little shootout. McMahon and Beheim. Yep. Three point shooting contest.
Well, you might get your oh, way, Sticky V. It's the Bayhawk. Took a picture, but what a beautiful guy. Takes after his mom. <laughs> he may have never panicked when they went behind. That's Man, been a, a good look. Can't give him back. He wants to shoot that three. Wara for three. Williams with a tip in. Williams a factor on the inside for that size. Bounce pass into Williams. Kick out to Sutton. Extra pass to Wara. And it all started with a hustle play by David Johnson. Yeah, Johnson made that happen to Diaper Dandy. You causing steals. So you have no post presence. Very tough to get him inside. Nice drive. I love his toughness, man. Johnson, another good decision. That's why they wanted Johnson in the middle of that zone, and he finds Williams. Great vision, size to make that pass. Good execution. Dolajay, the lob for Sadibe. Nice play by Dolajay in the open areas in that zone. He's showing some patience here. One of the he can pass the ball. Back out to a wide open Sutton. They worked on that exact play. You don't get many opportunities this year in the ACC. Let's not forget the ACC has been, to me, over years, the best conference in basketball. Nice little pass there. When you look over the years. And up in East Lansing on the weekend. And stayed at eight in the road. Too. What That's a great there. pass by Sutton. They came into the gap, Dan. Deep one for Wara. Whoa! He's back! Wara's back! They're making so many good decisions against the zone. It's always tough to play against the zone, but they're doing a nice job. Enoch on the glass. And just way too many offensive rebounds. That's Montrez Harrell. That's the way that Louisville's playing tonight. Well, he and Lou Williams off the bench with dynamite for the Clippers. Turn around by Williamson. And right now, the Cardinals getting anything they want. Why can't you be nice, though? I Why can't you be nice? I love you. McMahon off to Enoch. And the route is on. Man's really done a good job passing the rock, man. He really has. Playing good defense, too, on Gerard. Beheim with a tough turnaround. Sure. Yeah, stronger and quicker than he was when he got here. Yep. Gerard hesitates. Gary A has it. Well, I'll tell you, Gary A works hard. Enough of those quality wins. They didn't have a good enough non-conference season. They've got a road win at Virginia, but they just don't have. Louisville has 19 assists on its 25 field goals. That's a terrific percentage. There's another one. Let's just throw them up. 20 for 26. Yeah. You can't get those kind of unmolested shots. A disappointing year they've had. Unreal. Don't, don't forget Baylor hosting Kansas Saturday noon Eastern in Waco. Williams just having a field day. You've seen Louisville. You've seen Florida State. Break them down. Who do you like? Advantages, disadvantages? Well, you look at Florida State. I love their depth. You know, I know you got a great game here. We have the game at 6 o'clock. And really, Kentucky, Florida, Florida right now has lost five of the last six games. And that's the beginning of nine and four in conference. And the kids feel that. They feel that. When you get talent and coaching, oh, there is legs. Whoa. Williamson wanted a foul call, didn't get it. I really believe he's a key reason, big time, why they're doing what they're doing. Edwards from Hughes. A lot of the big guys for Syracuse in recent years, they're thin. They're, they're long they and they're more. agile, but they're thin. Deep three by Gerard. Is the diagonal pass against the track? And the three for Quinn Slazinski. The bench and the building explode. <laughs> He's been on cloud nine, man. Nice inside play. Uh, on their way to a lopsided defeat, they've got five more games. Even if they run the table, you'd oh. have to think they have to do it some was. serious damage to the ACC tournament to have oh. any kind of a chance. Gerard still in the game for the Orange. Again, a couple of players have fouled out, and they're very thin. Don't have a lot on the bench, but as you said, Jesse Edwards is making the most of his playing. Absurd advantage. You can't allow that. Going to be a rough year in visiting oh. ballparks for the Astros. Warner does good eye and knocks down a three. He took advantage of it and really dominated this game. Washington. 
And that's going to do it. The Cardinals end their two-game losing streak with a resounding 